Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you my copies of Call of Duty 1, 2, 3, 4 and World at War. So here it is, my copy of Call of Duty Deluxe Edition for PC. Now this was the first Call of Duty game that I bought, right? and the Deluxe Edition as you can see contains two games, Call of Duty and also Call of Duty United Offensive which is the expansion uh, to the first game. Now. This game here, um, this basically got me into the Call of Duty series. So let's take a look at the box. Um, as you can see here, the box is not too bad for its age. Um, you know, um, I didn't take off the sticker, uh, so it's still intact. It hasn't taken off the um, the shine to it, I would say. Um, but yeah, all in all, it's uh, it's in pretty good condition uh, considering that I bought this. Um, God knows how long ago it was. Uh, I guess 2003, four or something. Uh, anyway, let's open up and see what we get. So in here, uh, we got a few things, obviously. We have here the first Call of Duty game of the year, right? And also Call of Duty United Offensive. And also the two booklets right here. So let's go over the first of Call of Duty game of the year. So here it is uh, in its um, you know, uh, CD case. It is a three CD game, as you can see uh, right there. Okay, and if we open it up, um, there we are, the game of the year, uh, the first CD, disc one, and unfortunately, as with most of these types of um, CD cases, the little plastic bit that normally holds CD is broken, right? These are pretty flimsy, to say the least. So, there it is, you can see at the back as well, it's um, the, the little plastic bit's broken. Uh, but I guess as long as, um, you know, you, you keep it uh, right and you try to, um, you know, ma maintain the um, the... the, the the setting of, of where the CD sits, it should be should be okay. All right, so there we are, the Call of Duty CD. Okay, now moving on from here, uh, let's take a look at the booklet. So the booklet, it's uh, you know, it's again, it's nice and thick. I like the front cover uh, and the back because it looks like a you know a real a real leather bound booklet, uh, complete with the the weather look to it, as you can see here. Um, and you can see here you've got uh, the contents, the introduction, installation, obviously, the main menu, um, playing the game, uh, movement controls, uh, obviously uh, melee controls, other controls, the weapons and Call of Duty, uh, M1 Garand, geez, and that's my favorite weapon, along with the Thompson, obviously. Um, actually, all these game, all these weapons are really good. Uh, Mosin the Gant, um, obviously the FG42 and and whatnot. All right, multiplayer important tips, uh, etc. Okay, so that is the booklet for Call of Duty Game of the Year. Now, let's move on to the uh, United Offensive expansion pack, right? Here we are. Now, this is a two CD game, as you can see up there. So if we open it up, uh, this one is in better condition uh, than the other, um, because there it is, there's the first CD, and the second CD is right up, right there, right? Still intact still in pretty really good condition uh, case wise anyway and finally the booklet for Call of Duty United Offensive uh, again uh, pretty thick there and inside we have obviously the installation uh, playing the game movement controls we've got the weapons uh, we've got the Browning uh, Russian weapons and there we are Germany weapons for Germany and vehicles and multiplayer options and, and so forth. So that is the booklet for United Offensive. And there we are guys, uh, my copy of Call of Duty Deluxe Edition for PC, uh, which contains Call of Duty and Call of Duty United Offensive. And here we are, the second game in the Call of Duty series, Call of Duty 2 for PC. All right, so let's start again with the box. <clears throat> um, now, the box, uh, yeah, it's not in the best condition, as you can see here. Uh, the edges has, a, has, has is worn out a little. Um, obviously, you've got here down the bottom, you've got um, sticker, um, you know, residue uh, up here. You, hopefully, you can see, you can see that uh, there it is. The the shine has been taken off the bottom. Now, it's um, yeah, it's it's kind of my fault because I I should have taken the seal stickers off the box completely because you know, like I said, it does leave res residue as you can see there. The shine's taken off uh, off the. Um, uh, the front cover where the um, uh, where the sticker uh, was, uh, and also I, I yeah you know I ripped out the um, the, the restricted uh, sticker right there on the bottom. Now here's something odd, okay. So the seal stickers 
are actually sealing the front flap, right? So you can see here the, the, the box has a flap at the front held together by Velcro, as you can see here, Velcro right there and, and there. Um, so like I said, the seal, the, the thicker seal, it's actually cut protecting the front flap. Now, uh, that's that's odd. Um, you know, why is it guarding the front flap and not the contents of the game? As you can see here, there's no sticker for the actual game. So I have no what's going on there. It's, it's, it's just odd. Uh, anyway, let's see what's inside. All right, so if we open it up, we get the dual, um, double, well, I guess a thick CD case right here, as you can see there. Right, now, if I open it up, there we are, this is a multi-CD case. And the reason why I say it's a multi-CD case is because when you open it up, as you can see here, there's not one, not three, but six discs. So let me show you this, right? I'll put this away, I'll put this to the side. There's disc one, you've got disc two, disc three, disc four, disc five, and finally, disc number six. Okay, now, to be honest with you, this has got to be the best design case for multi-discs, right? Because unlike other cases where it forces you to stack discs, this case has a holder for each disc, as you can see here. It's, it's, it's great, right? Now, you may be wondering, why six CDs? Well, they're all the install discs. It's a pretty big game after all, right? If it's a DVD, um, if it's a DVD, they'll, they'll probably be able to fit this into one DVD, but because it's a CD, you know, six, six discs. Now, let's take a look at the booklet. There it is, there's a booklet or instruction manual for Call of Duty 2. And you've got the contents, obviously, installation, main menu, movement controls, weapon control, uh, multiplayer, and so forth, All right? Now, yeah, it's lacking in the weapons department. I would have, I would have better liked it if it had, uh, you know, a section on, on the weapons, let's say, in-game. But there it is, my copy of Call of Duty 2 for PC. All right, so let's put this away. Now, the next one, um, this is probably going to be a short show and tell. Okay, so let me present to you my copy of Call of Duty 3 for PC. This is the only time a Call of Duty game did not release for PC. This is also one of many PS3 games that I own, so be on the lookout for future videos documenting PS3 games. Now, adding to that, right, this is the first first-person game that I ever I have ever played on a console. Now, I was never a fan of first-person games in consoles before this because, you know, the purest in me at the time believed that first-person games can only be enjoyed on a PC, playing with a keyboard and mouse and not with a controller. And I guess one of the reasons why I bought this game was because, you know, number one, it only came out in consoles, and number two, at that time, uh, I thought I had a duty to play the game. And after experiencing the first two Call of Duty games, even if it didn't come out on PC, and let me tell you, it took me a while to finish the game because I had to get used to playing first-person games with the controller. I'm not saying that I didn't enjoy it, but yeah, it just took me a while, especially if it's the first time you, you play it. So anyway, back to the game itself. I've just opened it there, right? There's the um, the CD, okay? Oh, uh, the, sorry, the Blu-ray disc, I might add. And again, it's a, yeah, it's okay condition, I would say. There's, there's no deep scratches or anything like that. Uh, there's the booklet right there, okay? Um, and that's, that's essentially what's inside. And there we go, the old PlayStation 3, the fat PlayStation 3. You've got the six axis wireless controller uh, buttons there main menu, playing the game, and obviously the movement controls, um, multiplayer, and so forth. Right, oh, and also uh, an advertisement for Tony Hawk's Project 8. There we are, for PlayStation 3. Now, just in case you're wondering what a PS3 uh, did look, uh, case did look like, remember, this is it, right? You've got the um, embossed PlayStation 3 logo there, the Blu-ray disc embossed logo, uh, the old PlayStation 3, um, uh, what is it, side uh, image there, uh, the old PS3, red PS3, you don't get to see these uh, much uh, anymore. There's the title uh, there, and there's the back of it. And as usual, it tells you how many players you can uh, you can have in the game, uh, how much space it's going to take, whether or not it um, supports six axis, uh, what type of resolution you're getting, network features, and etc. Now, 
yes, this is a bit um, scuffy, you know, because obviously I bought the second hand. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, I, again, I try to clean it as much as I can uh, without destroying the case. But um, there we are. There is my copy of Call of Duty 3 and also Call of Duty 2. And here it is, my absolute favorite Call of Duty ever, Call of Duty for Modern Warfare for PC. Now the amount of multiplayer I played is borderline ridiculous. I think I must have played this almost every day for two to three years. I basically invested a lot of my time with this game. Right? And uh, just in case you're wondering, my favorite weapon is the R700 sniper rifle, or Remington, Remington 700. Loved it. Now, the single player was also good, uh, but the one thing that sticks out to me was the multiplayer. So, here it is. Here's the box that uh, the game came out in, uh, with the iconic um, green hue. Uh, obviously, you know, system requirements are also uh, printed at the bottom, as usual. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's not bad for its age, I, I guess. Now, let's open it up and see what is inside. So, again, we get the usual uh, DVD case. Here, right? Uh, there it is, right there. And if I open it up, there we are. You get the DVD and the booklet as usual. Now, I have to say, the DVD is a little boring. It's basically a bunch of words on top of a black background. There it is, right? Now, let's see what the booklet uh, looks like. Here we are. Obviously, there's the booklet. And it's basically, um, you know, how to install it, single player menu. Uh, not a lot in here really, uh, in-game display, health system, objective menu, the controls, uh, multiplayer, and that's pretty much it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my copy of Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. I wish I can go back and play it again, uh, but I don't have time. Finally, the last physical copy of Call of Duty that I own. Call of Duty World at War Limited Collector's Edition with immediate multiplayer upgrade and that being the FG42 machine gun. It states it right there and there it is, right on the back. Now this game comes in a metal tin or metal box with a hard plastic cover as you can see, as you can see there. Now on the back it shows you what this version of the game includes. Um, Right there, listed there, there's the um, FG42 uh, again, system requirements uh, down at the bottom there. Now, let's take a look at, at what's inside, okay? So here we are. So, the first thing is, there it is, there's the metal case, All right? Really nice, and again, I try to take care of all my things, um, you know, obviously. There we are. Uh, no dings as far as I can see, uh, which is good. Now, if I open it up, okay, we get the DVD case, and also we get a canteen. All right, there it is, metal canteen with the Call of Duty World at War logo uh, etched in it. Hopefully, you can see that. There we are, Call of Duty World at War. Now, you can't open this, uh, right? And it's it's sealed shut. Now, even if I can open, I wouldn't want to drink from it because. You know, there's even a warning on the plastic cover telling you not to do this, which is right, right there. Collectible canteen not intended for drinking. So, yeah, I wouldn't try. Anyway, let's back to the DVD case. There it is. There's a DVD case right there. There's a back war like you've never experienced before. Um, this is another good game uh, uh, that I re highly recommend. And um, let's open it up. And also, again, you get the CD, uh, well, in this case, the, the, the DVD, and also the booklet. Now, there's uh, several things in here, right? So, first of all, uh, obviously, we get the booklet, which is right there. Um, this also comes with two other things as well, along with the DVD and, and, and the booklet. Uh, we also get a flyer letting us know that with the purchase of this game, with the limited collector's edition, we are treated to the FG42 machine gun, right, there it is. And also, we get double experience for the first week, double XP for the first week, there we are, right? So, there it is, and there's the instruction at the back, uh, obviously, so that's the first thing that we get uh, with it. Now, the other thing that we get is a small card with a unique code, 
uh, that you get um, for pre-ordering this game. Now, I, I can't remember what I received when, when I entered the code. Probably the unique clan tag mentioned on the black plastic cover. So if we go to the plastic cover again, um, there it is. It states there the unique, a uniquely colored clan tag. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, not really. But, uh, let's put a white background on that. Oh, that's even worse actually. Let's see if I can... Um, I'll show it to you later anyway. Right? So there it is. A uniquely colored clan tag right there. Hopefully you can see that. There we go. Right there. Okay. Now, let's take a look at the booklet. Uh, there it is, the Call of Duty World at War booklet. It's, it's pretty thin. Uh, basically, it's just a table of contents, uh, the controls, game controls, you know, in-game display, uh, health system, objective menus, and multiplayer. And there we are. That is my copy of Call of Duty World at War, limited collector's edition for PC. And that, guys, is the last physical copy of any Call of Duty game that I own. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.